I'm the best. Welcome to another edition of Reckless Vineyards. Here on Reckless Eating, I'm Matt Zion along with A3K and Chuck Roland. And A3K looks really excited to be trying this. <laughs> Got this at one of a random Asian market run with Jeff Fu. This is plum wine by, how do you say that? Kiko Man? Kiko Man. Kiko Man. <laughs> so uh, I like how they have little uh, things here. Before dinner, for a refreshing wine cooler mix, one part Kiko Man plum wine and two parts of your favorite mixer. Serve over ice and enjoy. After dinner, Kiko Man Plum Wine makes the perfect dessert wine. Serve it alone or over ice and savor its del deliciously sweet plum flavor. Anytime. Enjoy the plum <laughs> <laughs> Fill a tall glass with ice cubes. All equal parts of Kiko Man Plum Wine and club soda and garnish with a twist of lemon or lime. I love that though. But before dinner, after any time, it's exactly like you have maybe a little bit of a drinking problem. You have a more of a drinking problem. You have a drinking problem. That's it. That's that's what they're. Any time, it should just be open the bottle and drink it. So yeah. Andrew's never seen a twist off before with wine. That just screams quality wine. <laughs> it, well, yeah. Asian Mr. Asian Fancy Asian over. people aren't uh, concerned with quality wine when you go to the places like that. I don't know what to expect with this. It's uh, it's cool looking. Water pepper. I actually awesome. got the on the zoom in. I got the wrong part of the label. That was good. Good job, man. Good job. What's the uh, alcohol percentage on this thing? Oh, 11.5. It's pretty good. Whoa, what? What? It smells like perfume. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah it does. Wow, this is gonna be <laughs> odd. Oh, I don't know about this one. This is gonna be really Jeez, strong and fun really time. sweet. All right, here we go. Plum wine. Oh. oh. Oh, it's really sweet. It kind of tastes yeah, like very, a four, it tastes like a four loco a little bit. Yeah, it tastes just like a four loco, but with too much plump. <laughs> There's a lot of plump flavor in that. It's gonna give you the runs, that's for sure. <laughs> and make it shit like a goose. Oh, <laughs> do the plum the plum wine chuck challenge. <laughs> hey, that'd probably be a cool challenge. Yeah, it'd probably be fun. See how long you can hold your shit in that. Because it, it's a little gross. It's, it's a little yeah. A maybe little cold. It's, maybe cold. It's better. They tell you to put it on ice. Yeah. Multiple every and every uh, every single one every time. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's yeah. super bad, but it's definitely not great. It's but, well, it's not my go-to's. I am no. getting warm from that though. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. So that is a strong wine. Eleven percent is nothing to scoff at. No, it's <laughs> not. What would you what would you rate it? I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know either. Um, I wouldn't buy it. So it was just... really cheap though. It was only like I think they had on sale for like a dollar fifty or two dollars. Oh, man, but see, I. Uh, it's one that has been bugging me and Chuck. Yeah, so we can't get him. It's one. <laughs> I guess I'll give it a I'll give it a three. Um, I wouldn't buy it, um, but the price is right, and you'll probably get really drunk off of it. Second of Uh I agree. I give it a three out of five as well. Uh, there's something about it I do actually really like, and then there's something about it that I absolutely despise. It's really weird. Yeah. I don't know. I like the sweetness out of it, but like there's something in there that I'm just like, it's, oh, it's a little too I'm sweet. Not, I'm not big on sweet wines. Uh, I don't know. I think the taste is just way overpowering. Really sweet. God, uh, I give it a high two. It's odd. Ugh, I can smell it. Well, you can get this at random, <laughs> random foreign like Japanese market. Uh, make sure you grab the uh, plum wine and not the soy sauce. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> well, oh, have you ever been? You, you've been there, right? You've seen like the aisles that they dedicate towards soy sauce. It's insane. You'll walk down a full aisle. Like imagine a Walmart full aisle and on both sides it's nothing but variations on soy sauce. Wow. Huh. I, last time I went to an Asian market I walked out gagging. Yeah, so, you did. You didn't uh, make it very far. But it's okay. crazy. Like like every soy sauce I've ever had tastes the same. So all those to me would probably taste exactly it's the like, same. Oh, try this. It's they had the a bottle of like, it was like $500 soy sauce. Like it's, like, it's just like, because that's what Asian people do is that they like, Jeff's told me about before that they have like, it's the same shit as the twenty dollars stuff, but because you bought it, you're the man. Oh yeah, like that's sure. it. That's what they do for sure. Yeah, tell your friends how much this costs. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, well there you go, guys. Um, I, we kind of recommend plum wine a little bit. I don't know, like just as a curiosity to try. I think it's worth that. If you're a hobo at a public library watching <laughs> this, definitely pick up the plum wine. <laughs> True, and you know why they do the screw caps? It's because homeless people don't have time to do. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> they, they don't carry around. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, got my wine. <laughs> and 
No, they just want to <laughs> pop it open, get wasted, and fall asleep under a tree. I thought you were going to say they just want to. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably dying to. Do you think they even masturbate? Oh yeah, got it like uh, crazy. Their where, hands have to be in covered in their jizz. Yeah, probably. They can't wash. They where do they wash their hands shit. at? They, they just, can't. They just wipe it like on anything. On their socks. On the tree or. <laughs> it's uh, the bottom inside part of their jeans. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going there. <laughs> so long, kiddos. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this edition of Reckless Vineyards. As always, we'll see you tomorrow.